In this video, we're going to be using Strike Gold Shave Hoover and the Icon Tech Safety Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, welcome back. It's good to be with you today, folks. Today, we're gonna be using Strike Gold Shave, and this one is Hoover. And this one was sent to me by Strike Gold back in, like right before Christmas, I wanna say. I bought a soap and he threw this one in. And first, let's talk about cost. This one is $15.74 for four ounces. And on our cost chart there, that's a good price of $3.93 per ounce. Now, this particular soap is available in the old base on Straight Gold Shave's website, not Patriot. But on the Razor Company, it's available in Patriot. So you, if you want the newer Patriot base, you can get it uh, at the Razor Company. This is supposed to smell like classic um, skin bracer. And when I, when I smell it myself, I don't really get that, honestly. I am very familiar with Skin Bracer because it's uh, the aftershave my dad used mostly when I was growing up, and I've used it myself. I have the vintage and modern versions, and this, while pleasant, I think it misses the mark on Skin Bracer. It just doesn't remind me of Skin Bracer. It's more of a, almost like a barbershoppy type of scent to my nose, a little bit powdery, but I don't get that sharp Skin Bracer type of scent. Um, and so for me, you know, although it's listed as Skin Bracer type, I don't get Skin Bracer from it. They don't include any uh, other notes. The only scent description is Skin Bracer type. So for me on the scent, um, is it unpleasant? No, but is it Skin Bracer to my nose? Also no. Keep in mind the way we perceive scents um, could be different. So you might smell this and get Skin Bracer, but for me, it's just not Skin Bracer. Scent strength is uh, perhaps a little under medium. Pleasant scent may be slightly barbershoppy, but to my nose, not Skin Bracer. This is in the old base, uh, pre-Patriot. I'll put the ingredients for you right there on the screen. Now I will say it lathered up really, really nicely without much effort. I'll show you a lather shot right there. Excellent lather, no problems at all. And in fact, if I didn't know this wasn't Patriot, just by the lather, I'd say, hey, this is Patriot because it's, it's quite good indeed in terms of the way the lather looks. So I'm sure we're gonna get an excellent shave today with it. And the question that we'll want to answer today during the shave is, since this was sent to me by Strike Gold Shave, would I buy it with my own money? So we'll try to keep that question in mind during the shave today. The razor for today is the Icon. This is the Tech razor. And I think I had one of these at the time, it was called Shavecraft Tech. So I don't know if this is the same or not, maybe six, seven years ago. And at that time, I thought this razor was fairly rough, uh, but we'll see about that today. Uh, I bought this with another short comb, a short open comb for 45 bucks. So that's really not bad at all. And as you can see, there's your blade. Um, this is supposed to be fairly aggressive, so we will find out today. I like aggressive razors, so we'll see. As long as it's not rough, that'll be great. And let's start by misting the face here today. Yeah, when I, uh, when I got this soap, I didn't know what it was supposed to smell like, and I smelled it, and I was like, okay, pleasant. Then I looked it up, and I saw it was supposed to be skin bracer, and I was like, I don't get skin bracer out of this, but you know, what are you gonna do? I have asked many an artisan, or not many, but a few, to make Skin Bracer. I think one might be trying to do it. And this one, I didn't even know was out there, to be honest. I didn't know it was supposed to be like Skin Bracer. But for me, it's just not, it hasn't captured the essence of Skin Bracer. Not unpleasant, but, um, oh man, that's a good lather though, I gotta tell you. When I was lathering this, uh, it was really nice. The consistency quite firm. And this stuff might, have been, might be a little bit older too, because you know, Frank has had his Patriot base for a while, so it could have been setting a while. Maybe the scent changes a little bit, but um, I don't really get Skin Bracer out of it, as I've said a dozen times already. But that's really the only descriptor that was on the soap. So there was no other notes or anything like that. Not unpleasant, but again, I don't think it really captures the essence of what I'm looking for in Skin Bracer, which is very, very uh, distinctive, sharp scent to me that I'm very familiar with and I love, by the way. All right. Tell you what though, no quality issues. The brush today is the uh, West Coast Shaving Honeycomb. I like this brush a lot. I have a couple of the honeycomb brushes and I like them very much. All right, let's set that aside and let's uh, cut 
cut this back a little bit and we'll get into this tech and see if it's uh, really aggressive or, you know, it probably will feel different than it did six years ago because back then um, I still preferred probably razors in the medium range at that time, but now I prefer a little more blade feel, so let's give it a go. Definitely get some blade. So far, smooth though. That's not coming off rough at all so far. So, first few strokes feeling good. The blade here is the Gillette Nasset blade, and it is on its third and final use. I use blades three shaves and out, typically on uh, double-edged razor blades. On injector and single-edge blades, I'll get more out of them, Artist Club style blades, but on DE, three and out. Okay, definitely efficient but not rough. So if this was in fact the same tech that I tried, might have been even seven years ago now, it feels a lot better today. So if it's the same razor, it's just me. I have grown to like more blade feel. Um, back then, for the most part, razors weren't as blade feely as they are today. There's a lot of aggressive razors out there today, and back then, you know, they had some. We still had the above the tie H play. We had the original uh, Mula R41. Um, not the current version, but the original, which I wish I had kept. I would love to get my hands on an original, what was it, 2012 version of the R41, uh, but they changed it, and it's not the beast it once was. I gotta say, though, that was an excellent pass. The Both the quality of the soap was quite good, so... Um, the quality of the soap and the feel of that was, it was smooth. It's an efficient cutting razor, which I like. And so I have to say, the tech felt really good. So if this is in fact the same tech that I used back in, I don't know, 2014, 2015, um, it feels a lot better today. And, and that's kind of the way things go. As you develop more experience, it's kind of like learning when you're in school, you know, what your feelings and the way you think about things when you start learning are far different from when you've had years to learn. You know what I mean? And it's the same thing with uh, like you go into a gym and you're exercising. You might start out by lifting a certain amount of weight, but as time goes on, you know, that changes. And so as you uh, build yourself up, it's the same way with traditional shaving. As you build technique, it opens the door for using other types of devices. Now, some people agree with, with disagree with me on this, but I am a, a, a firm believer in that with proper technique, because keep in mind a safety razor is just presenting you a blade. And if you find the right angle, most people, most, not all, but most should be able to shave with everything. Because if you remember back in the day, they just had straight razors. And you can't imagine that the hones on those straight razors back in the 1800s would have been incredible. Maybe they were, I don't know, but people shaved with them. And so, I'm a firm believer that over time, most people should be able to develop technique enough to shave with almost anything. There might be some exceptions there. Now, that said, you may not like to do it. You know, you may not favor super aggressive blade feely razors, but could you execute a shave without mangling yourself? You probably could over time when your technique is solid. That's my feeling about it. Some people disagree that's okay. But keep in mind, we didn't always have all these options, the mild options, the medium options, the no blade feel, the low blade feel options. So it's just a matter of finding that angle where the razor cuts well enough without. So, so what you don't want to do is drag it like this straight down your face with it being oriented like that, where, where it's like you're scraping uh, or squeegeeing a, a window. You've got to get the angle. But once you get that angle, even if it's an efficient razor, if you get that angle right, you will minimize the amount of roughness. And that is the key. If you're going fully like this, straight down like a squeegee, it's going to be rough. <laughs> but once you dial that angle in, it should be much better. And I'll tell you right now, this feels great. I'm digging this. It's definitely efficient, but it's right up my alley. And I could just feel it cutting. And that to me is the benefit of blade feel. You can actually feel it doing your work. So the benefit is I don't have to just keep going over and over and over the same area, um, guessing at whether or not the whiskers is, are, are gone. I can feel it because of the efficiency of this razor. 
So you make a few strokes, you feel that cutting is done, and then you move along rather than just going over and over and over. And I have a tendency to do that with mild razors. That is nice. I'm digging that. But I will say, might have been seven years ago, I did not have the same feelings about this razor. So, like I said, as you will with your mind when you're educating yourself or your body, when you're building it up, exercising with shaving, you'll, you will develop stamina to use different things and, and the technique to use different things as well. Let's do a quick final cross. Now let's talk about the soap here. We were talking about the razor and technique. The, the soap is very good quality. I'm not detecting any problems whatsoever. Um, I don't think when I made the lather it was quite as low structure to use that term as Patriot, but it was quite good indeed. It has plenty of slickness, cushion glide, everything else that you're looking for. No problems at all. It was easy to lather, ease of use, quite good. It just doesn't smell like skin brace. <laughs> so I will tell you right now, would I buy this with my own money had it not been sent to me? No, because in my opinion, it doesn't smell like skin brace. Now keep in mind, I always like to caveat, you might get it and think it does, but for me, I'm very familiar with it. And the way I perceive skin bracer, scent wise, this is not it. And if I were to ever smell it and someone asked me, does, did it smell like skin bracer? I'd say no. At best, it's vaguely, vaguely reminiscent. So it's not what I'm looking for in a skin bracer soap. But at the same time, it's not unpleasant. The quality is good. It's uh, got a pretty good price on it. So you can grab it if you like. But for me, um, when I read it was supposed to be like skin bracer after smelling it, I was like, what? I just didn't get it. But I'm still appreciative all the same. But keep in mind, folks, my obligation on this channel is and has always been to you, the viewer. Um, I am greatly appreciative of the people like Frank and Frank's been good to me that will send stuff on occasion. I appreciate that, but I will always call it like I see it. And today, I will just tell you, no, I wouldn't buy this one um, for myself personally, because while the scent is pleasant, it's it's just not um, it's not there for me. It's not a, it's not compelling enough. It doesn't have hooks enough that I would want to buy it. And so there you go. That's always my obligation to you. So for any anyone who ever says, "Oh, these guys will just like anything if they're scent," no, no, <laughs> believe me. I own plenty of products, enough to last a lifetime. And while I enjoy these and I'm deeply appreciative, um, I will never sell out and, and uh, tell you I like something that I don't like or tell you something, you know, I'm gonna give you my absolute straight opinion and feelings with full candor always. Now I try to be um, fair about it. But today this is just, this is not one that I would purchase, although it's, on a quality basis, it's fine, it's pleasant. Um, but Skin Bracer, when I read it was Skin Bracer, I was kind of excited and I went and smelled it again. I was like, no. Um, but again, I always like to caveat, you might smell it and, and make a connection. I'm just not making the connection. So for me, uh, not a winner on scent. Um, not bad, but it's not a winner. All right, that was an excellent shave though, so it certainly provided the quality we were looking for. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our Razor Rock Travel Alum after applying the alum that was no stain, so super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had a very nice shave today with Strike Gold Shave Hoover. And to answer the question that we always seek to answer when something is sent to me for evaluation, would I buy this with my own money? No, because the scent, I just don't get skin bracer out of it. However, you might. It's pleasant, but it's not, it just doesn't sink it. its hooks into me in terms of scent. However, the quality was surprisingly good, especially considering it was the old base. It might be slightly not quite as creamy is Patriot, but this is definitely good quality. So pick it up if you would like, and thanks to Strike Gold for sending it along. The Icon Tech, I gotta say, I think it was 2015 I used this, and I thought this razor was rough as all get out, but over time, with repetitions and technique, it now feels beautiful. It was a nice, smooth shaver. I absolutely love it. 
And that's the thing, folks. Repetitions, time, it changes things. Your technique should be improving to where you can use more and more things. Did my skin change and toughen up over that time? No, it's just technique. And so this was a beautiful shaver today. And it's now a keeper, although it wasn't back then. So always keep an open mind. Don't be closed-minded. Continue to try things. And you might surprise yourself um, using something that you never thought you could use. So keep that in mind. We used our West Coast Shave honeycomb brush and it's in our Lancaster razor work brush soaking mug and of course our HCNC bowl and today we're going to use fine platinum because it is the next aftershave that I'm going to target to finish up so let's uh, get a healthy pour here today and we will be smelling good this is uh, this smells like Creed Aventus the newer formulations of this um, they don't last very long so don't expect this one to hang around but when it is there for the next 15-20 minutes it'll be great all right Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, sure shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.